How can I help you? Hi, I brought a guitar in I'd like you to look at today. OK, hold on a sec. Go ahead, set it right here. There you go. Guitars are supposed to have six strings, not 12. Uh, yeah, that's a 12-string Rickenbacker 450. Pretty cool. I tried to play the guitar a little bit growing up. It was tough. I got short, stubby, fat fingers. Those aren't guitar playing fingers, you know what I mean? That makes two of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking to sell my 1965 12-string Rickenbacker guitar. I bought the guitar 25 years ago from a small guitar shop down in San Diego. It's a 12-string, which is very unusual, and they sound a lot cooler. I'm asking 5000 for it. I'm looking to sell because I'm building my own guitars now, so uh, I need the money for parts. This is pretty cool, man. So. Rickenbacker was based out of California, and in 1931, they are credited with making the first electric guitar. And the Beatles actually helped with the popularity of the Rickenbacker in the 60s. I mean, guys like Pete Townsend, Tom Petty, the Rickenbacker helped a lot of these bands create the sound that they're known for today. What brought you to this guitar? The 450 12 strings they only started making in 64 and they only made seven in 65. So that's a pretty rare guitar. So they only made seven of this year? Yes. I mean, that is pretty interesting if that's true. I have no idea, but I do know that there's a lot less of them out there than, say, Fenders and Gibsons. And how much are you looking for? I'm asking 5,000 for it. I mean, for a 1965 guitar, 5,000 seems to be in the ballpark of a lot of them that I've seen. Let's be honest, I've seen some of these things go for $100,000, oh, you yeah. know? Um, Looking at it, you do see some wear and tear on it, but to me, that looks like normal wear and tear that you'd have from the 60s. I'd really like to have my buddy come down and tell me what he thinks of the value of it, and then we can talk about a price. Oh, sure. Give me a few minutes. I'll see if I can get him down here, and then we'll go. OK. My biggest concern with the expert is that they price it too low. I'm hoping the expert really does know Rickenbackers and the history of Rickenbackers and how uh, rare this particular model is. Well, this is the Rickenbacker that I called you on. This is a great guitar. Uh, Rickenbacker has a long history credited with the first electric guitar and certainly have a kind of a, a lock on that jangle, niche, chimey sound that you don't hear with just any old guitar. Well, this gentleman says it's a 1965 Rickenbacker, and I don't know how to verify that from the serial number, but guess who does? The serial number on that guitar will be a bridge stamp, You'll see two letters on the left. I see an E and an F. All right, that's going to mean 1965 in June. All right, well, that authenticates the date. Do you want to take a look at the condition and tell me what you think? Mind if I take a look? Absolutely, go ahead. All right. So I'm going to sight the neck. And this actually does have a little tiny bit of bow, but this is not bad. Everything appears to be original. I got an amp right down here. I was hoping we could plug it in and make sure the electronics are all tip-top sound and working good. Absolutely, good idea. Right, here you go. I got it all set up, actually. So we're just going to test the switch, which moves from this pickup to both pickups, changing the sound. And we're going to test the knobs. You got your volumes and your tones. And it all checks out. All right, well, good. What kind of value can you put on this? Uh, it is rare, but it was Rickenbacker's lowest cost 12 string. I mean, it's a wonderful guitar, but not on the top tier Rickenbacker collector hit list. Retail, 2,500. 2,500? All right, well, I appreciate you coming down, Scott. Anytime, thank you. Take care. Thank you. OK, well, I know you probably disagree on what he said about price, but with that being said, I am still interested in purchasing it. I'm at 1500 What do you think? Yeah, I can't let it go for 1500 I just can't go that low. Well, what would be your price? 2500 Oh, man. You got to leave me some room there. And tell me your best number. 1800 That's awfully low for me. What's your best price? 2000 19 21 <laughs> 2000s a deal. How about that? Deal. All right, let's go write out some paperwork. And looks like I got myself a new guitar. We were negotiating, but obviously we weren't in tune at all. But we came to a number that I think we both can live with.